going to be my material for the gauge. Um, so what I want to do is uh, basically cut down this side the 30 degrees and this side the 30 degrees and I have a actually a carbide 30 degree cutter so what I want to do is make sure that it's centered this is ground A2 and it measures 0 0.502 in width so what I'm gonna do is is take some cuts and then I'm gonna use my depth mic and I'm gonna very precisely measure what the leg of the triangle is over here which should be um, I have it calculated I think it's 216.216 from the top down if we're going with a half an inch at the bottom and then 251 at the top so as we cut it we'll do some inspection and uh, be checking that with the depth mic so there's a couple things I did here in the setup one was I indicated the vise uh, very precisely it's within three to four tenths uh, straight with the machine movement so that's gonna help make a, a nice consistent gauge and then the purpose of this gauge is to be able to machine the slot depth consistently to come up with a measurement to get the walls to the correct sizes. So we'll just uh, get the angle cutter in there and start nibbling away at the sides here. So this side's done, and if you look at it pretty close, all I do under magnification is take the bottom of the depth mic and line it up right to the corner, and I end up right just a hair over 216, which is exactly where I want to be. If you look at it under magnification, it's a lot easier to see how it lines up so I'll bring the other side to the same and then we'll double check the top here to make sure it's 250 and we'll call the gauge done here's the completed shape so if I take my one inch mic and I try to close it until the anvils are right on the edges to where I can just catch just a hair above 250 so it's right about where I want to be and by the time I deburr it up real good without deburring it too much it should end up right about where I want it so at this point I'm gonna call the machining done uh, what I'm going to do is lay out some reference lines on here too to help with the gauging. And then I can start milling some test slots and see how the process works and how the gauge works.
now the slot width is done so from here I am going to put in my 30 degree carbide end mill and do the walls and use the gauge that I made to get the right angle depth on those walls so I have an indicator back here zeroed on the center and I measured exactly where the center of this slot is so I have it zeroed out um, and that way I know that I'm taking an equal amount with the angled cutter off of each wall.